Hi friends, text summarization is one of the most common use cases of LLMs. Let's find out the best open source LLM for text summarization. First, we need a dataset. So we are going to use this one from Hugging Face. We have the long form of text as content and then the corresponding summary here. We have over 4000 records in this data set. All right. Okay. We will be using Olama for the open source LLMs and Ragas for evaluating the summarization. Uh, we will go into the details of how we actually evaluate which summarization is better compared to the other in a minute. Okay. All right. Let's load the data set. As we saw, it has the original text and then the summary. Okay. Now, I wanted to evaluate a dozen LLMs with at least few hundred summarizations for each LLM. But the framework Ragas is not working well with Olama model as the evaluator. Okay, so here we have a bunch of models to do the text summarization and then another model to evaluate which model or which summarization uh, is good, right? So to, to do that, we are using Raga's framework, which require an LLM. I thought I could use one of the open source LLMs so that I could evaluate uh, over dozen LLMs for text summarization using a few hundred uh, records uh, for each. But it turns out that Ragas is not working well with Olama. So I had to choose a commercial LLM, right? So to reduce the cost, I decided to test only 10 samples. So that's why here uh, we are randomly sampling only 10 records out of these 4000 uh, records. Okay. And also restricted uh, the number of LLMs uh, only to five, uh, which we will see in a second. All right, a simple helper function to count the number of words. So for each of this text, here we have uh, the number of words. All right, now let's write the summarization function. So this takes two variables, the original text and the LLM model. Okay, now first we want to find out how many words the original text has and we want to summarize in 20% of the words. Okay. For example, if the original text has, let's say 200 words, we want the summary in 40 words. Okay. All right. So the prompt is very simple. Your goal is to summarize the given text in maximum this many number of words, extract the most important information, only output the summary without any additional text. All right. Olama chat. Here we have the system prompt. And then the user content is simply the original text. Okay. So we get the summary. All right. So these are the five models. I choose the best model from uh, different uh, uh, these LLM uh, uh, creators, Lama 3.1, Mistral, Phi3, Gemma and Quen. Now, except Phi3, the remaining four models are seven uh, billion parameter. Phi3 is only three billion parameters. All right. So here we run over all the LLMs and then create the summary and save it to our data frame. So this is how it looks like. So we have the original text, number of words and then summary from all the five models we have. Sorry, summary from one, two, three, four, five. These are the five models we have. All right. And then uh, since we asked the summary to be just 20% of the original length, here we are counting uh, that percentage of the summary. Now, as we can see here, uh, 17, 18%. Uh, so if you look at Lama 3, it has done a decent job, uh, but except for this one, uh, which is 25%, we asked for maximum 20%, okay? But that's okay. So the other models also, in general, they did well, except for one or two questions. I mean, this is pretty bad. So Mistral model for this one, uh, it summarized in half the words, uh, whereas we asked for just 
percent of the votes. All right, but we will see. We will be penalizing for longer summary. All right. Now, as I mentioned, we will be using Raga's framework, and for the evaluator LLM, first I tried with this open source LLM. Since that did not work, I had to choose uh, the commercial LLM from uh, uh, OpenAI. All right. We are using. GPT-4 mini for evaluating which model has done well or which summarization is good. Now coming to how do we evaluate uh, this? So there are different methods uh, used by different frameworks, but we are using this Raga's framework. So it takes the original text and then the summary as input. So it takes two arguments, right? Now first it processes the original text to extract the key phrases. Okay, and then it will generate a bunch of questions based on those key phrases, and in the final step, it will check which of those questions can be answered using the summary. Okay, so this is how it looks like. So here we have the summary. Not the uh, the original text is not shown here, but based on the original text, it has figured out these are the key phrases in the original text, and based on these key phrases, it has generated these questions so this is all done by the evaluator llm open ai or uh, gpt4 mini in our case all right so these are the questions and then we will see which of these questions can be answered just based on the summary so if we have a really good summary then we should be able to answer majority of these questions correctly right so here we have them for example the first question cannot be answered whereas the second third fourth uh, can be answered so what do we do is here we are checking how many of the questions can be correctly answered just based on the summary alone out of the questions which are generated using the original text and the key phrases this looks good but there is a catch what if the summary is equal to or almost equal to the original text then we should be able to answer majority of the questions correctly that means the qa score will be high but is it a good summarization no right we want to penalize the longer summarization we want the summary to be as short as possible so for that here we have the concise score which is 1 minus the length of the summary minus length of the context if the summary length is equal to the are nearly equal to the context length then the concise score will be close to zero right so there is a trade off between qa score and concise score we want both to be as high as possible and once we compute these two scores scores uh, we simply take uh, the arithmetic mean uh, harmonic mean would have been a better choice but uh, anyway uh, we are taking the arithmetic mean all right okay so by now we have the original text and the summary from each model so what do we do here so the evaluate framework it takes this data set the metric we want to compute which is summarization score and then the evaluator llm now we need to prepare this data set which is in this form so it takes two arguments or variables which is context this is the original text okay so if you look at the context here we have the original text uh, it expects a list of lists so that's why we have created this list of lists and provide the context and then <coughs> for each llm we have the summary as the llm name underscore the summary okay so here is the summary corresponding summary so in our case we have 10 original text and the 10 corresponding summaries okay so the evaluator framework it evaluate the score the performance score for each record okay and then we are adding it to another temporary data frame and this is how the results look like so for the first five questions for the llama 3 these are the scores as i mentioned the scores will be between 0 to 1 the higher the score the better it is okay so we have the scores and then we simply take the average uh, over those 10 questions for each model and then do the plot all right so we are just taking the average standard deviation so for each model 
we have the mean score along with the standard deviation. Now the standard deviation it varies somewhere between 0 0.08 uh, to up to 0 0.13. But in the plot, let's ignore the standard deviation, but let's only uh, look at the mean score. All right. <coughs> so here we have the scores. Now, as we can see, these models are not doing as great as we expected, but these are only seven billion parameter models and phi three is just three billion parameter. Now, if you've done the same exercise with, uh, I mean, the summarization, not just the evaluation, the summarization ex exercise with uh, uh, larger models from the same developers, for example, Lama 3.1, 70 billion parameter or even the 400 billion parameter. Uh, similarly, for the Mistral, uh, Gemma 2, etc. Uh, these scores would have been much higher. But within these 7 billion parameter models, uh, the Mistral is doing slightly better uh, compared to Lama 3.1. Uh, again, this difference is not much. Uh, so they are more or less doing the same. Uh, previously, uh, we have done similar exercise for the finding out the best retrieval model for Raga's applications. And also, uh, the text to SQL or querying SQL database in natural language. There we have seen a significantly different performance within these 7 billion parameters uh, for uh, retrieval and uh, the text to SQL. Okay, But for the text summarization, uh, all these models, uh, they have a very similar performance. All right. I'll upload the code to uh, the GitHub and provide the link below. Uh, if you want, uh, you can try uh, the commercial models uh, as well. Uh, that's all for this video. Thank you very much.